Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the what are the different type of expectations from QA interns. And in the end, we will discuss about the how to face your QA internship interview also. All right, so let's get started. Awesome, guys. So first, let's move towards the first one. Uh, let me pull up my marker. right what are the main expectation from the qa interns so qa interns or uh, if you are applying for an company uh, and you are getting hired for any kind of a internship for 3 months 6 months right what are the expe- main expectation from you so first of all the expectations are very straightforward which is basically the basic knowledge of web you should have a web related basic knowledge what exactly this means pramod you should have the information about how html works or javascript css right this is very very basic and uh, it is really really expected from you guys because most of the projects are related to the web and probably you will have some internship in mobile application then mobile related stuff that you should know uh, what are the different settings what are the different types of mobile screen sizes how this uh, uh, different type of uh, resolution works a uh, network connectivity works bandwidth works right so this kind of information or knowledge of web is basically expected from you okay of course uh, programming language which is a second second point for this is uh, you should know the uh, programming language you should be comfortable in the in at least one programming language most of the time people prefer to use the programming language they are working on for example if you are working with a company who is working in uh, java related stuff for example they have a backend so they will expect you that you should know about java if they are working in node js then javascript is expected from you if they are working with python related technology then definitely python is ex- expected from you so at least one programming language you should be comfortable and this is really really important i would highly recommend if you are applying if you are uh, applying for a qa intern or if you are looking forward make sure you do the hacker rank challenges hacker earth lead code make sure you create the profile on the lead code and start doing the programming challenges there okay a uh, database knowledge is additional you should have at least one database like for example it can be mysql or oracle database postgres or any one right i will recommend if you can have some information about the how mysql works and you should able to write couple of queries related to uh, on the db queries especially related to it okay and good to have let's discuss about what are the good to have for qa interns uh, if you are comfortable with automation knowledge if you know how to write manual test cases if you have some analytical skills logical skills and love to explore the web application as well as mobile application then it's really really good to have uh, because i have hired a couple of uh, not couple of many many qa interns as qa freshers also and if you have these ter- characteristics or it traits uh if you have some advan i mean this is really really advantage for you guys if you have automation knowledge uh if you know how selenium cybers works you know, you can write test cases you can write manual test cases uh you love to explore the application right then definitely you have a cutting edge over the other people okay so uh let's uh discuss about the do i need to know about the qa terms so uh, this is a really important question from the qa internship as well as qa fresher side uh, like should i know the qa terms or a software testing terms right i would say not required because we will teach you eventually uh the terms basically i'm talking about are test plan test case automation execution report bug report jira these are basically qa related terms or you can say qa related jargons right and uh, we basically we will teach you so don't worry about it but good to have if you have a knowledge around it because it will basically tells that yes you have done some research before applying the internship or any kind of a fresher job okay so yeah uh next question is basically do i need to know about the automation testing and answer is yes or no because there are two things which uh, which is uh, very important if you are basically hiring as a internship or a fresher right uh if there is a certain work required and which is very important right now and we don't we don't have any bandwidth uh we want immediately people to start contributing the automation then definitely if you have an automation testing knowledge like for example if you know how to write selenium scripts cyber scripts playwright scripts anyone then it's really really great advantage if you don't know it definitely we need to teach you for a one a month uh, one month because you are comfortable in database and programming language right this is what we are expecting so yeah it's yes good to have and no if you don't have we have to teach you but if you have it i mean really really grateful for that right so this is this was about it okay now very important question related to it how do i face the qa interview question uh, inter- internship interview basically uh, 
a uh, very easy uh, i would say make sure you are preparing your resume right you are including enough keywords so that your uh, in, uh, your resume is getting selected for the internship talk about your internship if you have done let it if you have done the qa related work talk about it if you haven't done the qa related work i would suggest do some weekend projects weekend projects are nothing but the project that you do on weekends for example you can go to the testing academy youtube channel and there are 30 days of challenges right you can do the challenges add to your github profile or your resume that i have done these projects and uh you you that that you can discuss in on the interview right so definitely uh, improve your communication skills i will highly recommend uh, how i have done it uh, done is basically i was part of a cambly i used to use cambly app which uh, or there are other communication uh, ways where you can improve okay uh many times in the interviews uh, people will ask you to write test cases so make sure you are well versed with it uh, of course i told you of course i told you right good to have knowledge is always and people will ask you these things okay uh, they will expect that you should know the programming language and if you can write test cases because you they will basically judge you based on the logical and analytical skills okay so very very important uh this is sql uh they will ask question related to sql statement programming question which is really important that's what i have told you right many times so make sure you are doing the lead code lead code challenges you are doing right here are the lead code challenges that i am uh, basically uh, presenting you you can do lit stuff related to arrays arrays strings hash table dynamic dynamic programming most of the people don't ask little advanced but array string and hash table you, are, you should be comfortable if you are right so these are the uh uh more major expectations from the qa interns and i will highly recommend uh, if you should if you have if you are an intern applying for an intern or even as a fresher make sure you start working on your automation skills on your programming right and work on your project especially prepare your resume well make sure you include proper keywords in them and if you are facing any interview in upcoming words make sure you work on your communication skills which is very important because if you are not able to communicate you will not you will lag a lot uh, do the weekend projects or internship projects because internship projects that's how we know that you have worked something uh, work on the your sql statements and programming language which is very important because immediately there can be a time after one month of kt you will be writing the test cases uh, even if you are writing as a manual te- manual test cases but you will be writing test cases as well as automating them if you are applying for a, any automation related uh, automation related internship okay so you will be doing it so make sure you pay attention to this i hope this makes sense uh, about around it and uh, I hope uh, this will help you a lot for a QA intern or a QA fresher. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, this is your host Pramod. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.